what's going on guys today i'm taking out these crochet passion twists okay they got to go um i kept these in for about three not even three weeks maybe two two and a half weeks i do have a video called five things you need to know about crochet passion twist if you want to know the pros and the cons it's going to be linked in the top right corner right here so i want to show you what these passion twists look like coming a little closer so after about three weeks two and a half weeks this is what they look like i don't think i even kept them in for three weeks guys um what i didn't like about these twists is that the actual twist itself is not um, it's not so nice it didn't have a wave to it or anything it's kind of boring and they did frizz up a lot so generally they came out quite easy but as you're gonna see a lot of tangles were happening a lot of not so nice things were happening in the takedown process so keep watching and you'll see how it went for me So guys, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you just how light this hair is by soaking it in water. It is so, don't worry, that never hurt at all. <laughs> the hair is so light and I'm going to show you what happens when I soak it in water. But a downside to having very light hair is that it is very fragile. It is not durable. And so what happens is the hair tangles on itself, tangles on your hair, and it doesn't last nearly as long as if you were to put in like the eight or nine hours to do this hairstyle in the first place. You can see here, I'm trying to find the loop to push the hair through and it's just not happening. Can't find the loop at all because when you're feeling with your fingers, it just, you can't see it, you can't feel it. It's just meshing with the rest of the hair and yeah it looks like a war scene like the hair's mangled So as I said, it's generally easy to take out. You can see here that for the most part, I'm not having a hard time taking it out, but in some situations it does get very tangled and when it gets tangled, it's like not a good look. Um, my hair is pretty much just braided straight back. I didn't do any elaborate braiding pattern or anything. I do have a video on my braiding pattern, which looks much better than this <laughs> braiding pattern. My braids here look like they've been in my head for six months, but you know, I just didn't do them um, diligently because I knew I wasn't going to keep the style in for long. But yeah, getting some tangles here, getting some snags. But all in all, I could say I came out with my hair in, in good condition. I didn't rip anything out. I pretty much just ripped the crochet hair. <laughs> Okay, so the first water test I'm going to do is going to be on the mini twist because you can feel the weight of wet hair on individuals more than you can with cornrows. So I'm taking the spray bottle and I'm spraying it down the whole length of the hair, all 24 inches, not just where my hair stops. And the water is dripping down, so that's how you know how much water I was using. But here's a close-up of what the hair looks like. It's actually not holding on to any of the water, surprisingly. So I'm just continuing to soak my hair in water and spray it. Um, I didn't want to go in the shower because I can't film in the shower. So I just decided to actually show you guys on camera how much I'm wetting it. So you can actually see in real time. So it got out of hand. It was like dripping everywhere. But this is what it looks like fully saturated, guys. It's not that wet, actually. So let's go ahead and dunk it. Okay, so I'm turning on the tap in my sink and I'm just going to go ahead and soak it in water as if you were swimming in a swimming pool or in the sea somewhere, soaking it to the point where it's actually dripping. So after I dunk it the first time, I'm actually squeezing the water out to see how much water is actually being held in the hair and it's really not that much actually. It's not that much water in the hair. You can see as I squeeze it, some water's coming out, but for 24 inches, it doesn't hold on to a lot of water at all. So what I do is after wringing it out, I go back down and I soak the whole 
top of the hair top to bottom you can see on the top it's super wet and i really 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 want to soak it for you guys because i always get questions about how this hair does underwater now this hair seems to do very well underwater i can't say the same for regular passion twists but so far this hair is looking really good Okay, so now we got the towel on and I want to show you what it looks like. So it's kept its form and shape for the most part. You can see it's still dripping wet and the twist, the hair doesn't look any different, but it feels pretty good. So when I shake it, I don't feel anything. When I shake my head back and forth, I don't feel anything. I don't feel any weight at all. And guys, after I squeeze the water out with the towel, like it's completely dry. Like it's literally dry. It is not dripping. You can look up close. There's no water coming off of this hair. It's very impressive. Pretty darn good if I do say so myself. So here I am taking out the passion twist off of my mini twist. If you want to see exactly how I installed this hair in one hour, literally, it was super, super, super quick to install. Um, I'm going to go ahead and link the installation video up on your top right corner. But basically what I did is I just took my mini twist and weaved it around the hair, which obviously will bring a little bit of tangles. But just given that this hair is tangle prone to begin with, it was like annoying. It was very tedious to have to take this out. So I am just so happy to have my hair back. Like you know when you take out a protective style and you're literally just happy to fill your scalp? <laughs> That's how I feel. So what I'm going to do is just pin my hair back and get it out of my face. Now let's go look at that hair that I just took off my head. So I'm just running the twist through my hands to see how wet they are. And guys, they're, my hands not wet. The twists are not wet at all. Like if you can actually see the water on my hands, I know you can't see it in the video. My hands are not wet at all, the twists are hardly damp, and this hair does not hold water. If you look at them carefully, they don't even look like they've just been soaked or sprayed or wet or dunked or anything like that. So I am very, very confident that you guys could take this hair, go swimming with it, and it wouldn't be a problem for you. Obviously, that does depend on how many packs you use and things like that, but the hair doesn't hold on to water, guys. They're super tangled, they are mangled, and you cannot reuse them, but you can wet this hair. So, can you wet crochet passion twists? Can you swim in crochet passion twists? The answer is absolutely yes, you can. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.